Hi guys, sorry as you can see I'm kind of talking to Nathan while I'm showing you guys my finished makeup look, but I wanted to show you my favorite go-to everyday makeup. Um, I love this matte lip. It's kind of a nude but with a little more pink and a little more mauve. Um, my usual cat eye with a little more smoke to it. So I hope you guys enjoy the look. Thanks. I'm starting out by covering my entire face with Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, just using my foundation brush. I'm then going to cover my entire eyelids and a little bit under my eye with NYX um, Eye Shadow Primer. So now how important it is to prime your eye before applying eyeshadow. It is absolutely everything and I don't think I could wear eyeshadow without doing it. So I'm going to start by covering my entire eyelid with Benefit's Big Beautiful Eye Palette's Light Pink Color. Once I've done that, I'm going to highlight my tear duct in my lash line with a white shimmery eyeshadow. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but I think for a daytime look, this just kind of opens um, your eyes up and makes you look more awake. And I'm going to put a little bit under my brow. Not too much because I'm not crazy about a super glittery brow line. Next, for my crease, I'm going to be filling it in with this MAC Gold Eyeshadow. Um, I've had it for so many years, I don't even know the name. But as you can see, I'm kind of winging it out to meet the bottom part of my eyebrow. My eyebrows look a little crazy here, um, as you can see I haven't really finished filling them in, so don't mind. But dragging out the gold eyeshadow to kind of meet the end of the brow elongates the eye, making it look longer, which is something we all want. Next, with a little black shadow, it doesn't matter what black you use, but I'm using a matte black shadow that I think I just got at CVS. I'm just going to loosely put it on the end part of my eye. And I'm going to trace the bottom part of the gold shadow, winging it out to almost meet the end of my brow again. Again, using Big Beautiful Eyes by Benefits palette, I'm just using the chocolate brown color. And as you can see, I'm kind of following that black line. It's a good, um, it makes the whole look easier if you do that. So I'm just filling that in, in my crease and above with the dark brown. And I'm just going to blend it out because it's all about blending. I can't stress how important it is to just continuously blend your shadow. You can never do it too much. So the black line is still kind of showing a little too much, so I'm just going to keep adding the chocolate brown until I'm satisfied. And it might seem like a lot. But I swear, once you put on your mascara, you kind of feel like you want to add more. But next, using Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner, which is my absolute favorite, I'm just going to line my lashes. And then, once again, using that handy dandy line we did with the black shadow, I'm just going to follow it. Kind of went a little crazy here, which I usually don't, but made it a little too long which is totally fine. It actually doesn't look too bad when you put on your mascara. But this was a little longer than I usually like to do. So I'm going to grab a Q-tip and just shorten it a little bit. Super easy. Mm -hmm. 
using my favorite mascara ever, the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. I'm just going to douse my lashes with as much as possible. And I usually never wear fake lashes, but if I did, this look would look really good with them. I just did not have any on hand. And you can see once you put on the mascara, it kind of um, makes the cat eye not look as long. It just kind of looks like an extension of your eyelash, which I think makes your eyes look really long. And again, I'm just blending out because it's so, so, so important. And now using the same small brush I used earlier, I'm just gonna get some of that gold that I put in my crease and put it on my lower lash line. Nothing too crazy, but it just adds a little continuity. And I think it looks bad. There I'm using the same light pink. Not the white that I used, but the pink that I used on the eyelid. Um, I think it looks silly if you add mascara on your bottom lashes, but you don't have shadow down there. I don't know, it just kind of bugs. So, I'm going to put a little more mascara down there. And we are good. See how it looks like so much less shadow than it did when I first started? So, using my foundation, I know I never use concealer. Um, I should probably get on that. I'm using the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Foundation in color N120. And I'm putting it under my eye and what I always do is I line the bottom part of my wing from my cat eye and I come around the bottom of my brow and I kind of trace out that eyeshadow area. I'm going to blend it out later. Right there, as you can see. Um, I really think it makes the eyes pop a lot more. So those are my eyes for now. Love, love, love. Now moving on to the skin. So I am talking to Nathan. All right, so I already primed my skin, which is important and helps me not get as greasy throughout the day. So I'm covering my face with my um, Makeup Forever again and just really blending that in with my big foundation brush, which I got from Sephora. Um, I don't know the brand, but I absolutely love it. It's brush number 45. I don't know if that means anything, but it works really well. Foundation brushes that I had in the past, um, I tried out a one, one from MAC for years, which kind of made my foundation streaky because the bristles would get separated. This one, it's so fine that it really blends in with my skin and um, it doesn't look like I'm wearing foundation up close and I absolutely love it. And I hate how my face looks when I have foundation on my lips, but whatever. So, just using that same brown shadow and an angled brush, the brown shadow they used in my eyes, I'm just gonna draw a line and blend that in. And this is my cheesy version of contouring, but I do it every day and it works perfectly for me. Doing the same thing on the other side. 
blend, blend, blend. Still blending. Okay, so I then get some matte bronzer. I'm not really into sparkle bronzer. I think you have to have JLo skin to pull that off, but hey. So I'm just using a matte bronzer and I'm going over the brown part that I just did to intensify it a little. And this is something I just started to do. I'm really in to the super um, big difference between I don't know what I'm trying to say. I like that dark line that shows from the foundation to the bronzer. I saw a picture of Kim Kardashian, the one where she cut out Nori, and she had that really perfect line, and I'm really loving it. Um, it just shows that you have good contour. So I'm just putting my foundation there again. And then, of course, I'm going to blend it out because we don't want it too crazy. But I do kind of look like that crazy look right now. So just blending that out. Blend, blend, blend. Don't forget to go under your chin because you don't want your neck to be a totally different color. Now I'm just getting some cream blush by NYX. Um, I don't remember the name, but it's super bright pink. And I always just blend that in right on top of where I put my bronzer so it's kind of just a color bomb on my cheek. Of bronze and pink and I just like that look. So it makes me look healthy. Okay, so I'm going to get all that foundation off of my lips. And this is my new way to do my nose. I know it's kind of cheesy, but I got the Rimmel London Match Perfection um, concealer, but I got it in light medium 335, which is way too dark for my skin tone. But I love this little brush because I think it's a really precise, easy way to do your nose. So I just draw two lines down each side, leaving a white part down the middle on the bridge. And you can use the brush to just kind of blend it out on the sides because remember, the darkest part of your face is where your eyes won't go. Your eyes in light reflect, reflect off of the lightest areas. So using my normal color foundation, I just draw a thin line up my nose to give the illusion that I have a nice small little bridge. And of course you want to blend that out because you don't want it to look too crazy. You just want it to look natural. And sometimes I don't put any more shadow on the brush, but I'll use the thing I use to contour that has a little leftovers. And just lightly tap to intensify it a little bit. I especially do this a lot if I'm going out at night, like to a dim lit dinner, because um, it just looks good. So, just using a little more bronzer, I'm going to do the top of my forehead because my forehead is humongous and we want to create the illusion that it's not as big as it is. So, my latest obsession is this NYX Nude Lip Liner. I got it at CVS. It's kind of that Kylie Jenner color, um, but nude little bit of pink. It's just a classic 
color in my opinion and I have been wearing it every single day and I am obsessed with it. I think it's a little more exciting than a nude lip but not too overpowering with a smoky eye. I don't know why, but I'm blending more because I constantly feel the need to blend the entire time I'm doing my makeup. And I'm gonna go over the lip liner with this Vincent Longo lipstick in the color Baby. This was actually, this lipstick is the color that I wore on my wedding. Not the lip liner, just the lipstick. And it was perfect and I'm obsessed with it and it lasts for a really long time. So just to set all the work I have done, I'm gonna go on the parts of my face that tend to get greasy. So I'm gonna go under my eyes where the makeup can crease a little bit and just on my forehead and chin and I'm using Vincent Longo again in the Velour Press Powder in light number two. So last step, I know out of order, I'm using Benefit's High Beam and I'm just going to put that on the top of my non-existent cheekbones to hopefully give the illusion that I have something kind of going on there. And a little on the top of my lip, I don't know why, but a little on the bridge of my nose. So there you have it, my everyday makeup look. I hope you guys enjoy and have a good day. Thank you.